What's up everyone, it's Texas Host here with Heroes of Fandom, bringing you my first ever Funko Pop review on Heroes of Fandom. So in honor of Spoopy Month, I've chosen one of the best spoopy things Disney has to offer. So today we're reviewing the recently released Ezra and Buggy Pop, which is exclusive to the Disney parks. This was an absolute must have uh, for me because the Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite things at Disneyland. Uh, this pop retails at about $40 uh, before tax and uh, it's only available at the parks. Sadly, I got this one through eBay for about $65, not including shipping. So hey, you win some, you lose some. What are you going to do about it? Uh, this pop was one of the most popular ones I've seen at Disney because of the extreme fan base that the Haunted Mansion has. Uh, all the other pop rides that have been coming out recently uh, would failed in comparison to this one for sure, at least with popularity wise. Uh, my f funny story, my friends actually went uh, up there to try to get it for me um, while they were shooting an arcade video and they said there at 11 o'clock or so there was a line to get into a line to get into the main line and they've already shut off the line because there was too many people in line. So it was just ridiculous how popular this thing was. This pop is the fifth installment in the Haunted Mansion pop line. The others being all three Hitchhiking Ghosts, the Hatbox Ghosts, and those are all around $100 at the moment. Uh, not very much variety, so this is honestly a, a great release that they had, uh, because I know us Haunted Mansion fans are desperately craving more pops for that. Uh, the back of the box, as you can see, has the, the classic backdrop on it uh, from inside the Haunted Mansion. Uh, they have the, uh, the authentic Haunted Mansion seal uh, on it, with the famous line from the infamous ghost host in the in the ride when you're going down the elevator. And uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing. The pop itself is really well designed, I think and captures everything that I love about the Haunted Mansion. Uh, Ezra is made with a translucent blue coloring uh, and in his classic pose with his hitchhiking thumb out and his hat off to the side. I know it's a, it was a common issue with these pops that some didn't get the mustache lines drawn on them. If you can see it from here, uh, as you can tell mine doesn't have any of those, but honestly it's a, it's a small defect that I can go fix later. Uh, and I don't mind it at all. It doesn't change how great the pop is overall. Um, the sculpt and attention to detail is great, and the paint job and the color scheme is nice as well. Um, this pop is great for anybody uh, that's a Haunted Mansion slash pop collector, and it's a must-have. It seems like one of the hitchhiking ghosts didn't just leave me on the ride at Disneyland and finally made it all the way home to me. I'm super excited about this pop. Can't wait for the next one to release, one of those pop rides from Disneyland. Hopefully it's something to do with Tomorrowland, Space Mountain, that would be really exciting. But uh, for this pop, it's a must have. Well that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed your time in the pop corner. I'm Texas Toast with Heroes of Fandom, signing out.